Comrades, I am Admiral Andre, and contrary to some rumors, I have not disappeared somewhere over the Pacific. I am back. Uh, indeed, uh, I have to say, life has taken some turns in the last few weeks, including many hospital visits for very ill family members and a, a hospital visit for myself as well. But uh, I am fine. It is not something that has perturbed me. So, yes, I think with that said, we can get going again at last with this campaign. This has been something that's been on my mind, but you know, with everything happening, it has been difficult to uh, find the time for it. But at last we can do so. Now, I have to familiarize myself again just with uh, all of the things that we did in the last episode. I think the main focus there was a part of course from paying the debt, well we managed to pay some of it at least, to find some more block members here in the Caucasus and we did manage to do that with Azerbaijan. So now Georgia I think was the next focus area. If we just have a look at the relations map here, we can see that uh, relations are actually quite good at the moment as well as in Iraq because of uh, the releasing there, we let them go of course, that was a few episodes ago. But let's just have a look here, what does it take again for us to actually acquire Georgia? Relations and units required, so we are going to have to enlarge our military by about six units and we have to increase relations, so that's why we were doing this help country here. So hopefully that will help out and uh, actually succeed. And let's just have a look at the military. I can't remember, I don't think I did anything in that area. Uh, no, there's actually a few units in progress already. So that shows you again how long it has been. I'm not sure if this will be enough though. Let's get some more, uh, perhaps another infantry unit if possible. Well, we're close to our limit, but let's go all the way there. That's anyway for some insurance again. Then let's have a look. What else? Uh, of course the economy was the big issue in uh, the last several episodes and I think that will unfortunately continue. We're still heavily indebted here and uh, our tax rate is of course still ridiculously high and I was just going through these things before starting this recording and it looks to me as if the world economy is already in a downswing again. So it's very possible that we might actually see negative growth again. It's 0.23% right now, which is certainly better than it has been for a very long time. But I think that might again pose a challenge. So I have to still be very conservative. Unfortunately, again, that makes not for the most exciting uh, action here. But, you know, it is all part of our campaign. So uh, there's times for action and there's times for different kind of action. So I'm okay with that. We're sixth as well, so I think comparing this again with South Africa where there was a lot more conquest and so on, we are certainly higher up in the rankings at this point than I think with South Africa. I can't really remember, but I think it was only near the end that this whole effort was started to actually climb on the rankings. So it's now 2043, so we have... Well, let's see, when did we start? 2020, and we have until 2100. So the halfway point will be in, let's see, 2060. So we still have quite a, f almost two decades to go before the halfway point. So this campaign is very far from over. So there's still plenty of time for all kinds of shenanigans. So let's uh, continue and then just see what we need to do from there. Uh, the stock exchange was opened by Belgium, so that's not really relevant for us. Let's just have a look at our stock exchange. It's been such a long time. Everything looks good here and we actually have quite a very productive block there. Iranian-Pakistani alliance. Interesting enough. Iran and Pakistan have entered into a large-scale mutual cooperation agreement. This is a very interesting development for the future of the Near East. Indeed, I don't think I've seen that before. 
So that uh, is very interesting. Diplomatic success with Georgia. Let's just pause here because this will have some kind of a strategic impact on our future. Now, I don't think the plan was ever really to uh, cause any kind of conflict with Iran, but of course that does pretty much mean that uh, our focus has to be on the South and on North Africa, as well as perhaps one day in Southeast Europe. I think Iran is just not something that I'm interested in. Of course, we had to fight them when it came to Armenia, but that was an exception. So I think it's fine. This whole alliance of theirs can just proceed. Uh, I'm sure India will cause some other issues there for them. So uh, if we ever had to go to war with Iran, I'm sure we could find the time for that. But speaking of wars, I see uh, India is not doing so well against China here. And just look at those forces, 300 infantry on the one side, 220 on the other. Yes, this is definitely the clash of titans at the moment. Let's just have a look here. Mm, I think it's decisive. I've never really seen the AI come back from a loss like this. We've managed it certainly, but uh, that was pretty much through some lucky strikes there, I think. Internal politics. So we've got some unhappiness in Cyprus, which is to be expected, even though they are incorporated. Is there anything, I don't think there's anything I can do because they are part of us, so this will just have to go down on its own. And uh, Armenia has a very small chance of leaving. Let's see, can we do something with them? Just do a normal improve relations. This is very cheap, so there's really no reason not to do that. Okay, continue. And uh, there's a lot of countries in the UN hit list here. Been starting some trouble, I see. But uh, the main culprit is, of course, Russia. So they have been very active here in Poland. We'll see if that continues, but I'm sure it will. New resources found in Istanbul. Well, what do you know? With new technologies come groundbreaking new materials. What was once a heap of stones is now an extremely valuable resource. So in our capital, we now, well, not technically our capital, Ankara is our capital, but perhaps our economic capital, we now have 2.5 times more resources. So let's just have a look. So Istanbul would be now this province. Oh, good grief. Stock market crash. A lot of people lost a lot of savings. We must do something. Do we have the money? Yes, we do. What will that actually give us? It's just basically less unhappiness and no unemployment growth. I think we must do something. We can't lose the tax income either. So intervene. Let's just see here. I want to have a look at this province quickly. It might just be better to pause it. So 43 now. I don't know if it affects this first one. I still have to figure out what this is, but that's a vault with money. So that must be the tax income from this province. So that will not be affected by the new discovery there. But uh, certainly that makes it our most valuable province now, which I think it was anyway. But uh, certainly we don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So what next? Armenia, you're going to be happy, right? Yes, you are. So let's see if we can convince Georgia to join this uh, alliance here. Still not enough units. So that could be an issue. What's the chance though? Okay, we can't see that yet. How long before we get the units? Well, for the Navy, it's going to take at least a third of a year still. So we're going to have to be careful that this goodwill doesn't disappear in the meantime. Let's just clear these things. Uruguay left the block of Brazil. And, of course, we helped Georgia there. Our research, uh, it's going to take at least a year to get the advanced financial services. But I hope that will be a boon to the economy. Okay, there's some more infantry. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, implementation cost. We can't quite afford that right now. I wonder now, what is the actual chance of success? I'm not seeing that. Oh, well, it's written right there. 53%. So, uh, 
slightly better than half. We... Uh, oh no. Oh no, the timing is always wrong with this now. And we're getting negative growth again. So this is the thing I definitely wanted us to take part in. In South Africa we managed to do really well here. But now we are very constrained financially. So the time has come to uh, settle the moon. The moon has been a potential target for human colonization for decades. Now it's finally become possible to send settlers and conquer it for the glory of the human race. Well, I hope in real life it doesn't take until 2043 for us to do this, but the way things are going, it might just be. To the moon and to pause immediately. Let's see, 1,000 per investment here, and we of course will have to make several Score plus 100, relations with the whole world will go down because of their envy. But the moon, the moon is too much of a prize. We've already lost the uh, Lagrangian point there. Ah, oh, debt. This is going to be the end of us, I'm sure of it. Should I or should I not? The thing on the other hand is, this is pretty much just for the prestige or the score of it. I don't think the moon is actually financially, how could I say, it's, it doesn't contribute enough to our economy to really justify this. I can't really remember in the previous campaign with South Africa whether the moon actually did much for us. I know there was an investment that we did, I think, with the minerals or tourism or something, but that still requires even more money. You know, I think... There's no second place here, of course. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't help myself. It might be the end, but at least it will be a, a worthy one, I think. Negative GDP growth. And now, of course, we can't invite Georgia. There's no money for that now. I'll wait a little bit until it starts accumulating again. Just see, 45% tax. That's too much. But I can't raise it any further. It looks like the economy has bottomed out though. It might be coming up again. Minus 12. Okay, well, point 12 anyway. Let's see, anything else to do right now? Uh, all our block members so far are happy. We just need to get the money. Unless we just get the debt back again. Ah, why can't I ever help myself? Georgia refused to join our block and I just wasted 500, uh, probably 500 million or something. But uh, yes, we're not doing well now. Well, I'll try and invite them again at some point, but it isn't really that much of a priority. Although I would like to do it. Southeast Asia, so they, uh, Indonesia and Malaysia are now working closely together. Mutual cooperation with a possible new alliance. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, China might disagree with that, but we'll see. Georgia, Georgia, what are you doing? Why did you refuse such a generous offer? Okay, it's basically at zero now. I think the economy is coming back. Fire! Fire raging in our national archives. Everything will burn if we don't do something quickly. And let me guess, it's going to cost money. Save what we can. That's 257. Well, we can, we can afford that, actually. And it will give us a nice bit of prestige here. 50, that's half of what we would get from the moon. Can you believe it? Action points we can certainly afford. What's this? Well, fight it, but make sure that some unfortunate documents are lost forever. Hey, and then we lose 3,000 of our debt, but we lose a 100 score. No, we can't do that. That's absolutely out of the question. Who needs a load of old papers anyway? No. Save what we can. That is definitely the right thing to do. Let's just take care of India here in the stock exchange. 35 action points, but certainly worth it. And what next? Moon colonization. You see, it's coming up so quickly now. Well, it's worth it. It's worth it. I don't know. This might be the end, like I said, but we at least 
have a little bit of ground still before we run into that debt level that we were in the previous episode. But uh, yes, that's now erasing all of the work there. New Navy units and Ecuador has joined the block of Brazil and we have a loan again. Oh, good grief, well more of it anyway. Let's see, anything else? We're still at negative 0.01 and it's dropped again. Has it gone down further now? Oh, look at that. Instead of having a recovery, it's just went into a deeper recession. Turkey has been a real challenge, I have to say, but uh, I'm still convinced we can make it work. Even if we're bankrupt, but of course that will throw a big spanner in the works. Should really avoid that. I, I don't know. What again? How often do we need to pay for this thing? That's really unfortunate. I think the previous one, the cancer one, didn't come so frequently. Oh, we should cancel this, I think. That's going to be at least one, two, three, four, maybe five thousand more. And we're certainly not going to get five thousand uh, income. See how it's dropped now already. It was over 200, now it's 49 and falling again. Panama declared bankruptcy and Panama declared bankruptcy again. So this might be our future. I'm really afraid to say it, but it just came to mind that we might be the new Pakistan of this campaign. They haven't declared bankruptcy once, but now I'm afraid we might have to. Masked Vigilante, Batman with a unicorn. Uh, some loonies dressing up in a colorful spandex and pretending to be a real-life superhero. Surprisingly though, he's actually caught a few thieves and muggers and taken them to the police. Unfortunately, in doing so, he's caused quite a lot of damage to his part of town, so he's not a billionaire. Catch him and put him away, that will cost us both money and action points, or this one, I think this is what I did last time as well, maybe use him to attract tourists, at least gives us back a bit of that money that he's cost us, but we can still use his crime fighting skills I think. Indonesia status has been degraded, let's just take care of all of them now. I've never heard of any Turkish superheroes. I wonder, they must be something. If you are aware of that, put it in the comments. That would be a very interesting thing to look up, actually. Must be some kind of uh, comic uh, or cartoon tradition in uh, Turkey as well. Robots in the workplace. More and more machines are now doing jobs that people used to do. While some call it progress, others are afraid they soon might have no job, which is also a real-life concern at this point, but uh, at least I don't think we're quite there yet, but in the future we certainly will be. And no food to put on the table. We must be pro-human or it's the future we must embrace it. Unhappiness and unemployment. So that's 009. Now unfortunately can I see what is our unemployment now? No I can't. So that's something I would have liked to see now. Just to s compare what the figures are at the moment and see whether we could offset this. But part of me thinks we must embrace it. We must be pro-human. GDP growth will drop, but unhappiness will not go up so much. No, it's the future. We must embrace it. Even though we are now trying to recreate an Ottoman Empire, it has to be a different type of empire. Peace treaty between Russia and Poland expired, so there might be some trouble. And our superhero became quite the attraction and seemed to really like the attention he was getting from the media. When he was approached by Hollywood movie makers, it didn't take him long to agree. Unfortunately, we now lose his uh, crime fighting there, but we do get the score, so that's a nice boon. And we have to pay again. I'm just gonna keep doing it until we're broke. Luckily, it seems we still had about 500, so it's not a full thousand every time. Block war games. 
our general stuff, it looks like the game is trying to figure out as many ways as possible for us to spend money right now, but uh, yes. Our general staff have proposed conduct of war games between all members of our block. This could be very beneficial. Now you'll have to give me a good reason. Relations will go up, militarism will go up, uh, action points, money, and a bit of score. Well, score is always a reason. Some other time will actually degrade relations in the block, so I guess they want to do this, maybe to prepare us against a future Russian attack. Focus on exercises, money, and we get an army attack modifier for 500 days, but I don't want to attack anyone in the next 500 days, so I'll rather take the score. Do it. More loans. Me and the bank manager, or actually, what would this be in, in this case? Investors, people who buy the national bonds, whoever it is, but whoever's giving us our money, uh, they're best friends with me right now. Let's see, is the US now also? No, well, no, everything is fine. These are old messages now. Almost done with our research there, at least one of them. see if Russia makes any new trouble. The stock exchange in Australia was closed due to some spy actions there. I wonder who would be that. Hmm, somebody wants to maybe get them in their block. And are we done? 30 days, about a month. Mashrik, target of a UN attack resolution. Wait a minute, stop! Da -da 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 -da. Anyone can start a war against it without any territorial claims. There's no real point if we can't get territorial claims, though. Anyone can start a war against it without any territorial claims. So we can start this thing, but uh, what happens if we try and take their territory? then we'll become the target for the UN. No thank you, we've already learned uh, what that brings to us. 20 days left, and the moon has slipped away again, but let's throw some more money at the last cause, why don't we? Ish, cry me a river. Almost done with the financial, and there's war between the USA and Russia. Well, that is a big development. I wonder why. Could be that they were trying to enforce this whole UN thing. You see there, Russia is actually twice in the spotlight of the UN because of their activities. But uh, I'm sure this is going to cause a great deal of uh, upset in the world. No doubt the Russians will lose this one, I think anyway. And we have the financial services, so we already have 488 income at the moment, but I think is that mostly due to the world economy? Yes, which is already on the way down again. These things never last too long. Let's see, is there anything here that we need? Fight unemployment? Okay, wait, now let's just have a look at this. Unemployment rate is still going down, and it's less than 1% now, which is fantastic. I think that's probably the best it's ever been here since we started the game. So we don't have to do that, we don't have to do a post-war rebuild. Uh, nothing else here, just have to make sure there's no opportunity that I'm missing out on. The diplomatic offensive... I think it's still worth to keep that. What is it costing us? 17. That's not too much. Although it is worth actually cancelling that once we go into the raid again. Hopefully we won't, but I have to just keep that in mind. What's this? An enormous city pyramid. Well, it's because we have the infrastructure, but we don't have the money for that. Nothing here that we can do. Let's just see, international, is there anything worth doing here? Currency wars, maybe? No, I don't want to have negative relations right now. So the financial sector supremacy, I think that was the whole thing that we were going after because this is one of our objectives in our tasks. But now 8,600, these are very expensive projects, but look at that stock income from members, that's plus 25%. 
Plus 10 there. Hmm. But now what can we do in the meantime? This is the thing. We have to spend money to make money, much like real life. We can do this maybe. This will cost us a thousand one hundred of our action points, which we can certainly afford now, and it will give us a quick bit of score there. Sector regulations, requirements, restrictions and guidelines that aim to maintain the integrity of the employment system. That certainly seems worthwhile. So let's do that. I think if we do manage to succeed with uh, Okay, this is just the US and Russia again. If we do manage to succeed with the moon, then I think we're going to have to put a break on our ambitions for a little while. No new territorial things or projects or anything like that. Then it's going to have to be just hard times and uh, getting rid of this debt. Even if it takes three or whatever episodes, we just have to do it then. Because the moon in itself is already a massive prize. Jamaica has joined, uh, it's not that much war and so on, we've seen all of that. And uh, this is the big thing now, okay. I glossed over that. India has now opened its own stock market, so now we are in a bit of trouble. But we can actually add another member already. But now I'm going to have to remove them first. Ah, oh, that's a pity, that's going to eat into our money, look at that. Well, I think let's try and sabotage this uh, stock market thing here. They've been a good partner to us. And uh, I think if we can just actually get them back, that will help our economy again. So slander the stock exchange. Uh, it's expensive to do, but let's do that. If it's a success, we actually get a uh, score from that. So implement that. And the next thing is, let's just have a look. I need to find a new member for our stock market here. China could do. I don't know if we're on the best terms with China, though. That's the thing. Let's just see. Can I go to the relations map? I have to cancel this now first. Uh, not the best. That's why we're only getting a little bit there if we do ask them. But China is always a good member. Let's have a look to see if there's anyone else. Well, Australia has lost its uh, stock market, but that's even worse. Hmm, somebody in Europe, perhaps? South Korea? Seven, no. The Americas? I think it's just going to have to be China, or it could even be France, perhaps. No, that's even less. No, it's China. We're just going to get them into the block. And even though it's a measly seven, we can just have to uh, just try and improve relations there and uh, see if that helps. Because that is after all the powerhouse of the global economy, and I'm sure in 2044. Let's just have a look at that actually. Uh, GDP size, uh, no. Hmm, they're fifth actually. Ah, well, that's still very much better than we have, so I think it's going to be uh, some partnership worth investing in. New company on the market. A major tech company is being listed, and I have to remember paying for the moon. A major tech company is being listed on the stock exchange soon. It will be a good occasion to create some buzz for our stock exchange. And it will increase market competitiveness for 150 days. I think we should, just because the stock market is a big portion of our income. Look at that, it's gone up to 400 now again. Pay, pay the money, just pay the money, don't even look at it. It's actually interesting, uh, given comments on some of the previous videos, I do wonder what the debt ceiling will be for Turkey. I think we are approaching it. It might be something like 40,000, but uh, we couldn't push it too much longer. That's now the drawback here. Burundi has a pandemic. A mysterious disease spreads around the world. People are dying and everyone is clueless about the cause of this problem. And are we affected? Don't see us here. No, we're not. Okay, thank goodness. This is something we don't want to be a participating country for. So we have the luxury to just say, that's terrible. 
Fight the disease, no, sorry, no, forget it. We can't do that and we're not directly affected, so it's again about making hard choices and uh, prioritizing here. If we do get to colonize the moon and this plague, whatever it is, gets out of hand, then we can always run there. So, research, 82 days till economy modernization, so let's speed that up. I can't remember what the benefits are of that. North Korea is bankrupt. North Korea is bankrupt. Twice over. Diplomatic summit crisis between China and the US. Now, this puts us in a difficult position. Here goes my alarm again. Because both of these countries are in our stock exchange and hurting the relations with either of them is literally going to cost us dollars and cents. So I think... What should we do? The thing is now, China's not paying us a lot at the moment, not at least as much as the US, so I'm more willing to damage that one and then try and rebuild it again. So we're gonna support the US. Let's just have a look at the cost of that was a complete success. We hit them so much they were forced to close their stock exchange. Yes! So that's one good thing there. India has been uh, humbled again there. I wanted to say humiliated, but I won't go that far. And uh, now we can get them back. Of course, we just have to wait a while for the timer to expire. Or can we actually get them right away? That's strange. Hmm. I know there's a time limit here, but why am I not seeing it? Add market. But you can see we have zero available slots. Well, that's an interesting thing. I'll have to revisit this. Oh well, we do have a slot there. Next elections, I'm not even bothering about that. And uh, moon. Just pay for the moon again. More loans taken. Oh, this is going to end in, in total economic disaster, I'm sure of it. So yes, what was I going to do now? There was one more thing I wanted to look at before ending this episode. Uh, oh yes, the whole stock exchange thing. What it now actually cost us in terms of China? 70. Hmm. I don't know if this has actually gone down. It was 68 or something when I did the uh, improvements there. But uh, yes, you see, the U.S. is by far our most important member here, so we can never hurt that relationship. It's anyway not as good as it can be, and it's partly mitigated there by the distance, which is hurting us there. But uh, yes, so that's interesting. And uh, what else? I think that's it. We can leave it on this note for now. It's again a bit of a cliffhanger because of the whole moon colonization effort which is now not good for the economy. Hmm. Oh well, but we can continue in the next episode. I'm just glad to finally get another episode out and continue on this uh, adventure. So thank you for watching, if you did, and uh, for sticking with me through this silent period again. And I hope to see you very shortly. Hopefully you don't have to wait that long again. So have a fantastic day and weekend, and... Uh, that's, that's it from me.